Hello, in this video, we're going to be doing an integral involving absolute value. We have to integrate the absolute value of x with respect to x from negative one to two. Let's go ahead and work through it, solution. So recall that the absolute value of x is equal to a piecewise function, okay? It's equal to x, and that's going to be true if x is greater than or equal to zero. And it's equal to minus x, and that's going to be true if x is less than zero. So here we have the integral from negative one to two of the absolute value of x dx. So we're basically now going to break it up into cases, right? We're gonna look at when it's positive and when it's negative. So our limits of integration are gonna dictate that. We're going from negative one to two. So between negative one and zero, it's negative. So let's break it up like this. Negative one to zero, we have the absolute value of x. But instead of writing the absolute value of x, I'm just gonna put minus x because I know that it's negative there, so it's gonna be minus x, because x is between negative one and zero. Plus, and then we're gonna go from zero to two. Zero to two. And when x is between zero and two, it's greater than or equal to zero, so it's just x. The absolute value of x will just be x in that case, okay? All right, um, so now we just integrate each piece. So this is equal to, we're gonna apply the power rule for each integral. So here we'll add one and divide by the result. So it'll be negative x squared over two, and we're going from negative one to zero. Plus, same thing here, we're gonna add one to the exponent and divide, so it'll be x squared over two, and we're going from zero to two. Okay, now we're carefully going to plug in the numbers. It's really easy um, to mess up here. So we plug in the top number first, so that's just gonna make the whole thing zero, okay? Because it'll be negative zero squared over two. So just zero minus, and then we're plugging in negative one. So we have negative, negative one squared over two, okay? So this minus is from the formula. We always put a minus there. This minus is from here. And then this is the negative one we plugged in. Plus, now we plug in the two first, so two squared over two. Minus, plug in the zero, the whole thing is zero, so I'm just gonna put zero. So negative one squared is one. So this piece here is just gonna give us one. And then there's a negative and a negative, so that's positive. So this is gonna be one half plus two squared over four is four halves. And then one half plus four halves is five halves. And that would be the answer to this question. So whenever you have absolute values, you want to use this definition to break it up and go from there. Hopefully this video has been helpful to someone out there who is learning some math. Good luck.